Hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is David. I thought you were gonna like introduce yourself since this you were mouthing usually, everything. It's like, this is my jungle, but it's not really. We're in a spaceship and all that stuff. It's fine. Hi. Okay. okay <laughs> so we're at the Home Depot in Manchester. We went to the Lowe's in Bloomfield this morning. So I'm gonna show you that footage first and then we're gonna see check out what here. they have here. And then there's a Lowe's like across the street or it's something. Right over there. Okay, cool. So yeah. let's go see what they have. Hey, plant fam. We're at the Lowe's in Bloomfield and uh, we're gonna see what they got. Okay fam, so over here we've got some urban jungle stuff going on. Nothing too exciting out here, honestly. Just a lot of succulents. I think they're all still 25% off, which is cool though. Some Birkins, like a lot of Birkins. I remember when I couldn't find one and I wanted one so bad. And now they're everywhere, so that's cool. Some cute begonias. The begonia Benigo pink, I believe. Mine is growing out of control and needs to be cut back. I keep meaning to film that video with you guys on like how to cut back and repot your begonias because they will grow back from like little stumps and then you can propagate the rest of it, so. I will definitely show you guys that if you are interested. We've got some dragon fruit plants here, cactus, whatever. Some cute little jade, lots of variegated jade, sad succulents. <laughs> Lots of star aloe. Everything is pretty much the same, honestly, from the last time that we were here. So I'm a little bit more eager to get inside and see if they have anything new in there. Because they still have all these maculatas and it makes me really sad. I genuinely want to buy all of them and make them look pretty again because it's one of my favorite plants. Sad polyboitra back here, but yeah, guys, come and buy the begonias, it makes me sad. And lots of weird little cacti. I am always drawn to like the bluish colored ones, but I, your girl does not need any more plants right now, honestly. <laughs> so now we're inside, and it's looking like they don't really have anything 
too exciting going on today just the usual stuff this marble queen was really beautiful i really like these new live trends hanging baskets for $24.98 i think they're super super cute i apologize for how like echoey this voiceover is i'm at david's and the space is so big that and there's not very much on the walls so it is very echoey in here i apologize but hopefully it's not annoying i really like all of these cute little air plant setups i just i couldn't figure out if this was like a fake bloom that they glued on there or if it was real because i don't really know what talansia blooms are supposed to look like this pot was really cute for 26 dollars. i liked the like gold and black together that was really pretty these colorful ones are cute too if you're into colorful stuff $14.98 for these ferns i really like ferns they just don't like me back so we don't buy them it's really what it comes down to and these cute little what are they calanchoe i don't know but this pot this banana pot is quite possibly the cutest pot ever <laughs> and i don't know why i like it so much over the other ones i like the avocados but i don't like the bright pink i just i really like the blue color of the bananas and i wish it suited my aesthetic because i probably would have bought it honestly i don't know why i just like the bananas okay there's <laughs> a cute little Syngonium here. I think these are all $6.98, but just your regular assorted foliage that you're pretty much going to see at every big box store right now from Costa Farms. They are definitely fully stocked on the little ones everywhere I've been. Just nothing, nothing else really exciting. They haven't released any new plants since the True BI and i don't really know what they're waiting for i know that they've been quote unquote testing out the thai constellations for like a hundred dollars which is low-key really irritating because they know that we want them so i don't know why they're quote unquote testing them out and trying to still charge a whole bunch of money for them so I guess I'll just wait until they decide to make them widely available because I am not paying $100 Costa Farms. So this is a rabbit's foot fern for $19.98. I've never seen one of these in the big box store before and I've been seeing a lot of them and I don't know how I feel about them. They're kind of creepy, but they're kind of cool. I don't know. Let me know how you feel about them in the comments below it's a cute little Diphenbachia for $12.98 I love the urban jungle pots and I love that they're all $12.98 and you can get lucky with those and find some really nice rare plants in those so I've been keeping my eyes on urban jungle a lot more than Costa Farms lately so look at these beautiful Syngoniums I think these are the white butterfly syngonium or something along those lines correct me if i'm wrong but look at all these cute little pots i have so many of them at this point in time honestly and then you know you got your regular assortment of costa farms you've got some zz ravens some birkins some little fiddles tons of zz ravens like more than anybody will ever need honestly these bonsais were pretty cool and then i found this peperomia that i don't know the name of i think it was labeled a long time ago i found one as a peperomia scandens but i don't know i see some like variegation on the leaves and stuff so i don't really exactly know what this plant is it wasn't labeled it was drowning but it wasn't labeled so if you know what it is by all means help a sister out because i do have some cuttings of this that i've been rooting for a really long time and i don't know what it is 
So that kind of bothers me because I like knowing the names of my plants. I thought this pot was really cute for $22.98. I think it's also Live Trends, which is together with Urban Jungle, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong again, but I do think that they come from the same company. Cute little ponytail palm. They just, I like that they come in the pots already for like a decent price. So I'm not mad about it, you know, because normally you're paying more than that for it just in a nursery container. So you get a pot with it. Cute little philodendrons, staghorn ferns, and then you've just got a bunch of floor plants back there. Another cute little queen for $14.98. I like these little pots. I just... I genuinely don't have room for more plants, you guys. I need another plant room. Does anybody else have this struggle? Like, I just, I need more shelves and just like a whole nother entire room to put plants in. <laughs> All right, so over here we have more urban jungle. It's cute little spruce and cute little variegated chiffleras, more syngoniums, and they all come in these cute little terracotta pots for what does that say? $9.98. So they're literally only $10 for these cute little pots. And again, like I said, I'm not mad at it because you're gonna be paying $7 for the same size plant over, uh, you know, in the Costa Farm section over there when you can get one in a cute little pot for just a few dollars more. It's cute little peperomia. These ficus are absolutely stunning and I feel sorry for them being jammed under there. But yeah, this is the urban jungle display. I was very tempted to get this syngonium, but I had to politely remind myself that I murder any syngonium that I try to plant. I have to keep them in water or they die. So that's cool. I also just wanted to check out if they had any new pots because they had quite a few in stock and I noticed these cute little hanging ones that honestly I've seen um, similar ones at like TJ Maxx and stuff for cheaper than that but still not a bad price. I like Allen and Roth. I think they make really cute stuff. I have this one here that comes with the macrame inside of it and yeah. I'm a sucker for a wicker basket. <laughs> These ones are 30 for a set of two. And then they have this cute woven basket back here as well. So just had to show you those real quick.
And it's quiet. There's no music. Some polyboitras. Birkins. I really like my reverted one. Watermelon peperomias. Begonia maculatas. They always look so sad, these. But the good thing about begonias is you can like cut them back and they'll regrow. Do you need some purple waffle? I'm okay. Regular waffle would be nice. Mm. That pancake you made me this morning was, was so good. Yeah. It was so good. Some cute syngoniums here. This is the Maria for $6.98. I used to have that one. This was the first syngonium I actually got because I like the color, but I killed it. Dyfenbachia, $6.98. Yeah, so now I just keep my syngoniums alive in water. I only grow them in water. Oh my God, stop it. Most of mine are dying and I don't know why. I repotted them and they started to die. Like only two of them hmm. are alive. So I don't know what I did wrong. It's nothing exciting. <laughs> but it's terrifying. These bromeliads are kind of terrifying too. Look at them. I don't know. We've got some cute snake plants over here. $14.98. Aglionema, same price, Golden Pothos, some ZZs, Bird's Nest Fern, These people keep walking by with their carts and they're so loud. $7.98 for those ferns. Oh, these are cute. These little pots. Some Cal and Coey. I don't know how much they are. I don't see a price. Some Jade. They're probably like around $12. Cute little Sago Palm. Violets. I don't see any variegation. Cal and Coey. Some orchids for 10 bucks. Some cute begonias. I don't know how much these are. $9.98. Polka dot plants. Oh, this is a pretty one. I had this one, remember? And I killed it. Got it for like $6. And I put it in the greenhouse and then came back a couple weeks later and it was dead. <laughs> so that's fine. Yeah. Euphorbias are nice. Mm. These weird, unnaturally colored. Yeah, it's weird. But I guess people are into it. That's a selling point. More Birkins. Little Fiddles. This Polyboitra is huge. succulents and stuff here.
cute. See if you can find another one of these that's not sad. Echeveria raindrops. Okay, voiceover Jackie coming at you again to show you these blue star ferns in quite possibly the ugliest colored hanging basket I've ever seen. And then they had a sea of these beautiful Diefenbachias that I honest to God wish that I could possess, but I do not trust my dirty little leaf nibbler, my cat, not to eat those plants. So they also had a lot of really stunning peace lilies for $24.98. I'm pretty sure that all of these are $24.98 in this size container. So you've got lots of really beautiful ZZs, some really stunning Dracaenas, and a bunch of snake plants back there. And yeah, I really like how big this place is. They just didn't necessarily have anything too exciting, but I always enjoy visiting this one in Manchester. This is where I actually found my Silta Picana a while back. So they do get good stuff in stock. You just kind of have to get there as soon as they get them. Their anthuriums were looking beautiful here. I really love the pink and the white ones. I have a red one and a black one at home that honestly never bloom, but I'm okay with it because I just, I like the foliage. And then these bromeliads here were in bloom. They were actually pretty. Normally I don't like bromeliads. They kind of freak me out, but they're pretty when they bloom. I'll give them that. And then a bunch of assorted foliage. I saw this little Pilea peperomioides hiding back there. It was the only one looking real sad. I mean, I think I had one of those way back when I first started collecting houseplants. And I was so obsessed with it. It was so pretty. And then I knew that it needed a repot and I just never repotted it. And eventually it died. So, yeah. <laughs> $10 for these cute little pots. I think they're called like Nazca pots, which I thought was funny if you're familiar with the Nazca lines. So anyway, I thought they were really pretty. I don't necessarily like the colors of them. If they had like a sandy, more muted color one, I probably would have picked one up, honestly. And then these were cute little pots too. I'm really loving all of the new pots that I'm seeing in the big box stores. I feel like I'm so used to seeing everything in a nursery container that it's really nice to see things in some decorative pots. That Dracaena was stunning and then they literally had a sea of Monstera Deliciosas. Not necessarily looking bad but also not necessarily looking great. They're only $20 each I believe so not a bad price if you are in the market for a Deliciosa. This is one of the first plants that I got excited about. And I think I paid like $40 for it at the nursery. And at the time that seemed like a lot of money to me, which is hilarious because now I spend like $60 on two leaves of a Hoya. So that's fine. Okay. So, a Home Depot didn't have anything good, unless you're looking for those plants, but they are the same plants everywhere. So, by my standards, nothing good. And now we're at the Lowe's across the street, and we're going to see if they have anything good. And apparently they carry Captain Jack's, so we're going to see if they have that for him, because I'm blaming him for my thrips. So, I have to take care of his, too. Okay, let's go Whatever. see what they have. <laughs> percent shifting the blame on you. I'm going to tell you there's not a single fucking trip in 500 plants, and it was one of mine. Just I don't have 500 plants. I mean, you have 400. That's dramatic. 
like a little over 300. <laughs> you were way off, okay? Yes, and the thrips definitely came from like your one plant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Shut up. No. Oh, I feel like I gave you some kind of disease. <laughs> you said you gave me the thrips. <laughs> <laughs> it's a condition, okay? Uh, I'm gonna take that as there's nothing good in there. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but we just saw her in Home Depot. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. They have a raindrop that's not dead. They all kind of look dead though, so <laughs> I don't know. Well, these are cute though. They're like kind of geometric. Listen, I will always find something cute, okay? Okay? Okay. And they're 25% off here too. So, see, so look at the little variegated jades. They're super cute. For 25% off. I am a jade murderer, so I'm not gonna do that. These are cute. Twenty-five percent off for that dead succulent. Let's see what they have it's inside. Yeah. It's probably copyright music in here. Is it quiet? It's actually quiet. No, nope, there's copyright music. Okay, fam. So, like I said, we're at the Lowe's in Manchester. There was copyright music. So, hitting you with another voiceover. And it's looking like they pretty much have the same stuff. Although, this guy was freaking adorable. And I was tempted to purchase him. But like I said, your girl does not need more plants. And as David oh so kindly just pointed out for you, I have like 300 of them. So we really don't need more unless we find a wish list plant. So these anthuriums are looking beautiful. Some cute little bonsais in these marble pots that I am not mad at and they're $25.98, some money trees, lots and lots of snake plants if you're looking for snake plants. I mean, there is literally just snake plants everywhere. And then they have their really sad little clearance plants that I do like to look through. I was checking to see if there were any variegated African violets because they usually just throw them over there when their blooms die and the rest of the plant is totally fine so um they do that with the orchids too so you know people who know how to get them to bloom again can buy the clearance ones and then those should have been on clearance because those were all looking pretty dead and then i had to stare at the banana pot again obviously because it's just really stinking cute and more African violets that your girl had to search through. I didn't find any variegated ones on this trip, but I am still looking. I found the one a little while ago you guys would have seen, and then somebody told me that they like to have a buddy to rebloom. So I was like, wait, are you telling me I have an excuse to now buy another one? So... I am on the hunt for another one with different colored flowers that I can pot up with the one that I have. $14.98 for this Birkin here from Urban Jungle. I find really hilarious that the ones right next to it are $20 from uh, Costa Farms. So, and it's in a terracotta, which is cuter than the ugly Costa Farms pots, in my opinion. Raise your hand if you have way too many of those trending tropical pots and you don't even know what to do with them because they just don't really look cute with anything, in my opinion, anyway. So here's more of the pots that I speak of. You've got the little fiddles and some sad polyboytra 
I really was kind of obsessing over this fiddle for $22 from Live Trends. Look at that leaf. Look at that leaf. For such a tiny baby plant, that is a massive fiddle leaf. And then the saddest begonia maculatas I've ever seen. I don't know why they're not on clearance. And then more urban jungle. You can't go wrong with these pots, honestly. They're just really stinking cute. Um, this one's already mixed. So I paid like 30 something for the concentrate of this size. So then all I do is mix a tiny bit in with water. But this one you just spray directly on. Because you don't have that many anyway. Fancy. Spin a, spin a sad bacteria. The other one just had, um... What other one? The Dr. Earth or whatever that one is called. You're Dr. Earth. I am definitely not Dr. Earth. A soil test kit. They have cute, um... River rocks. I'm gonna get the ones that look like this from the next gardener that have like these colors because they sent me some other really nice ones but I like those colors I want them all what's that? no but it was interesting the ingredients because just rosemary, clove oil, peppermint oil inert, yeah. 97% inert yeah yeah that's not necessarily for the bugs though yeah. see this when they eat this it disintegrates them from the inside. That's a terrible way to go. It's a bacteria. Yeah. See, spina sad bacteria. They found it, they discovered it in like a brewery or something. Oh. I don't know, you know I had to Google it to like find out what it was. Look at all the pretty coleus over here. This is the one that I like. Look at it. You think I can keep that alive inside? It's 50% off. It goes outside. It's good. I'll give it thrips first and then you can bring it home. But I can leave it outside and then just bring it inside in the winter. Flamethrower Chipotle Coleus. Is this the only one? Yeah, there's a bunch down there, I think. Oh yeah, there's a whole tray. Oh, and this one looks good. Or there's a little one. There's a baby one. I feel like I should get two and pot them together. In a little pot outside. Would look cute, right? Yeah, and hopefully they won't pull it up because it's no, that's why it's in a you put it in a pot so that you can bring it in in the winter. I like that one. And this one, right? They look so pretty. I saw these in a nursery once and I was like, what is that? That is the coolest looking coleus I've ever seen. <laughs> so obviously if they're only two dollars. Mm. It's like you're getting plenty of plants. Yeah. Super cute. Okay, fam. So Lowe's was a bust, unfortunately. Yeah. But they did have these for $2 on sale. And I'm a big fan of this type of coleus. So um, we're going to plant it outside. Wish me luck. Good luck. Well, I mean, I'm going to put it in a <laughs> pot outside and then just bring it in in the winter you feel me so now we're gonna go to woodland woodland gardens. woodland gardens i've taken you guys there before but it's been a while so yeah let's go see if they have anything good before they close Ooh, big begonias Ooh. this chiffler is beautiful mm. look at all those big begonias okay let's see what they have in here
These are cute. $3.99. Oh my god, stop it. Look. <laughs> Alrighty. We haven't been here in a while. We'll have to say hi to Ursula back there. She moved. Looks like they moved a lot of stuff around. They've got some Ruby Cascades. For $16.99, that's a really good price for that. It's actually surprising. $24.99 for the ruby necklace. Yeah, that Hoya totem has been there for a long time. Ten bucks for some little string of pearls. Sixteen for a bigger one. These are cute. Little weirdos. My arm hurts. What are you holding? No, it was a, it was oh, nice. it's a variegated cow and Cody. There's little ones right here. See? The mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't see any Hoyas today. Usually they keep their Hoyas over here. Definitely, oh, there's Hoya carry eyes. That's about it. I don't see any growth points. Dogtail cactus. I mean, I like the way it grows. It's pretty cool. Some burrow's tail for five bucks. All right. What the heck is this? It's like fuzzy, but I don't know. I can't tell if it creeps me out or if it's really cool. It's like spider webbing. It doesn't say what it is. All right. Some ponytails. Oh, look, they have japonicas. Cute little baby ones. I wanted the other variegated one, not that one. Should have bought it the first time I saw it, but like where the hell was I going to even put that? I don't have space. I always wonder what these are. Can I? I don't know. Sure. What does it say? Classic Canis Atlantic Beauty. I don't know, I always see these and I never know what they are, so I guess now we know what they are. Are these ficus? Angel's trumpet. So cute little mic ends. Mm, Ten bucks. Cute. This is an anthurium something, Plowmanii. Nice. I know people definitely like these because they're like a hardier anthurium. Cute. Mine is still alive. <laughs> Look at these cute, cute little mic ends for ten bucks. I feel like I should get one for a giveaway. Alocasias. This is the Alocasia, I forget, Louder Bakia. I could have just made that up. <laughs> it's like purple something. It's a big ficus. Some philodendrons here. $10.99. Big reverted Birkin. I love it when they revert. They're so cute. They so cute when they revert. Some staghorn ferns. This 
some cute begonias. Yeah, this is like every type of peperomia you can imagine. Polonia. This is a beautiful begonia. Mine has one leaf left because I cut all the other ones off on account of the thrips. The thrips! Hmm? Bunch of ivy that I don't care about. Some cute syngonians. The little bonnies are cute for $4. Little baby Bonnie. <laughs> if I was going to get a spider plant, it would be that one. Maybe if it was like variegated or something. Because I needed to be fancy. <laughs> so it turned into one of those people. <laughs> Cute little Audrey's. That is such a tiny pot for it though. $12.99. Like these need to be up potted. Look. Now is the time to do it too. You do it any time, any other time of year, and it's gonna die. Some cute little baby stromanthes. Perfect. Thank you. Um, look at the little baby nanooks. Those are adorable. Five dollars. Look at. The <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, that's good. That's funny. There's a bunch of calatheas back here. Medallions. And I think this one's called Rosie. Slow grower. There's some rattlesnakes. Some nice philodendrons over here. All their plants look so happy and healthy. Bunch of Dracaena against the wall over there. Fiddles. Dyphenbachias. Yeah, Ursula's got herself a new spot here. That's cool. Yeah, so yeah, I have a little, little. I'm trying to talk and the words aren't coming out. That Orbifolia is getting too much sun. Mm. It's no longer in the shade of it's Ursula. I like the Makoyana. She cute. She cute. She cute. I'm probably going to pick up one of those Mikans. They're only like $5, right? Or $10 mm. and do like a giveaway. This is a lot of Trinoscantia. Yeah. $26.99. That's a good price. Can you hold it? I can't get the whole thing in the frame. Cute. I mean, mine will probably be this big in no time, honestly. You're so helpful. Thank you. <laughs> so there's another one over there. Oh, this was the lipstick plant that I was mad I didn't get the last time. Remember? Because it's just got like this cute ass... But like honestly, every lipstick plant I have seems to like get scale on it and I don't understand why. But aren't they cute with the little backs like that? They are, and you got two minutes to pick them up before they close. Whatever. They're not gonna kick me out. Oh, uh, here's some of the black pagodas for $3.99. Yeah, here's another big ass one massive lipstick plant. A Scenanthus. This is only $18.99 for this huge thing. And then look at that one. Look at it. That's a lot. It's going crazy. For $22.99. That's kind of insane, honestly. Alright, let's go um, pick a Mike Ends to give to the beautiful people watching this video. Well, here's an Adansonii. 
$24.99. Cute little babies. Some tetrasperms. I think I had one that I liked. I mean, they all look a little sad and are gonna need like rehabbing. That one's nice and full. I don't know, just pick one that looks good. Over this one? Yeah, that one has more growth points. Okay. I feel like I'm forgetting stuff, but we have to go. Okay, but $44.99 is a lot. This is really cute though. And so is that. I like that. $60. Well, these are so cute. Look at how cute these are. Lots of cute baskets. Aren't those cute, those hanging things? Nice. Anything good over here? Um, some bowls up here look pretty cool. These yeah. are cool. Yeah, it's the same thing. And these are nice. <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> I think that's it. Mm -hmm. I like the little ladybugs. Cute. Okay, fam. So that was Woodland Gardens. We got to say hello to Ursula and I picked up this little Mikens for one of you guys. So I'm going to hold on to it for a little while and keep it in the greenhouse safely away from the thrips and just kind of let it grow a little bit and make it happier and then we'll do a giveaway soon. So definitely keep your eyes open and your notifications on. So you don't miss that. And I think that's it, right? We got some coleus. We got some dead bug brew. <laughs> we got some micans. Now we're going to go spray some plants Ooh. and murder some bugs. Because that's like my whole entire life now. It's really good. <laughs> yes. So yeah. if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. And... um Go follow his channel That's if fine. you want to. I'll Whatever. link it for you down below. And, uh, well, I'm on there, too. Maybe they want to see me. Yeah, that's true. Okay? Yeah. So. Okay. Okay, come over. Hang out with both of Anyway, I appreciate you, fam. It's really hot in this car. I got to I got it. Oh, and my shirt. I want to show you my shirt. It's from Boardwalk. But I'm sweating in it.